Hey everybody, it's me, Calvin Minson. And the Wii was on top of the world in the late 2000s. It's still the most popular game console in America. And to most families who had it, they thought it was simple. Just a white box with a white stick covered in rubber. But just like every game console, it's super complicated and was hard to make. The Wii makers were having such difficulties with many things, but most prominently starting up the console. With the complexity of the menu, it was difficult to make it all load in perfectly. Then they had an idea. A Wii startup disc. You've probably never heard of it, so I'm going to tell you about it. I'm Calvin Minson, and welcome back to Lost Media Legends. <laughs> The reason the Wii startup disc is so obscure is because it was only needed to boot up prototype Wiis. Because later on they fixed the Wii, removing the startup problems, so they didn't bundle the startup disc in with the Wii consoles everyone has. The Wii startup disc only came with prototype Wiis, which were for display kiosks. Let's talk more about that. At first, the system wouldn't even have a menu. It would just have text asking a store employee to insert a startup disc. After the startup disc was inserted, the console would download the needed firmware and data off the disc and it would just become a regular Wii. But the thing is, these startup discs requiring Wiis weren't just for display kiosks. These Wiis were sold to the public, supposedly bundled with the startup disc, instead of Wii Sports. It said so on some Wii boxes. But I said supposedly, because nobody has revealed publicly that they own the disc and the special Wii. And at the time of recording, it's never been found. But even though the startup disc itself has never been found, the special Wii that required it is well documented. Nintendo themselves mentions it on the Wii support page on their website. They say it's an operating system problem that needs to be repaired. Very sneaky, Nintendo. They're just doing this because they didn't want anyone having these prototype Wiis. And they were willing to give anyone who had the special Wii and startup disc a brand new Wii if they sent the special Wii and startup disc back to Nintendo. So that's why these special Wii and startup discs are so lost. Barely any were sold to the public, and the ones that were got sent back to Nintendo. This special Wii and setup disc will forever be lost media. Until when someone found the special Wii on eBay. The person bought it and recorded it, so now we have footage of what the menu looked like, and what the startup disc might look like. But sadly, the actual startup disc still hasn't been found. But one thing from the startup disc was found. The ID. You see, in the early 2010s, some people found that in the Wii's data, it said that every Wii console would refuse to play a disc with the ID R-A-A-E, and nobody knew why or what that disc was. But then later on, after the special Wii was found on eBay, people found in the special Wii's menu, it referred to the startup disc as, you guessed it, R-A-A-E. But that is where the story ends. The special Wii was found, and some of the startup disc was found. It's kinda crazy that with the console as popular as the Wii, a different version of it could be such a big, elusive mystery. But hey, if Mean Girls DS could be found, Maybe one day the Wii Startup Disc will be found. I'm Calvin Minson, and thank you for watching. Dinosaur.